Welcome to this SOLIDWORKS tutorial guys. In this tutorial we will be designing this wheel in SOLIDWORKS. So let's begin. Click on part and click OK as we are working in the part file. Make sure that you are working in inches. So select here inches as units IPS and change the background to plain white for better visualization. Now select the right plane and click on sketch which is very first option and then here select center line and make here a vertical straight center line and I'm making a straight horizontal line as well both of these lines will be used as reference lines now select a line and make a straight horizontal and vertical line and make sure this line is inclined somewhat inclined not straight now select line make a vertical line and also this line should be in, uh, inclined as well now select smart dimensioning tool and from this line to this point here specify the measurement as 0.75 and from this point to this point the same measurement 0.75 and after that specify the length of this horizontal line I am specifying as 0.3 inches and then press escape key then hold control key select these two lines make relation equal from here as well so make sure that they are not touching or overlapping now select smart dimension tool and here specify the length of this vertical line as 0.25 inches and both of these lines will have the same dimension as 0.25 inches okay now from this top line to the origin here specify the distance as 9.5 inches now select mirror entities and we will be mirroring all of these lines for this sketch about this reference vertical line as you can see this yellow colored sketch this has been mirrored now now select smart dimensioning tool from this line to this line specify the distance as 7.25 inches now the sketch is fully defined you can see it from here now go to features and here select revolve boss base and we will revolve this sketch about this horizontal line will which will be used as axis of revolution and check this box from here so that was basically the purpose of that horizontal line now before moving any further i am specifying an appearance so here you can specify any appearance you like by the way this is an optional step now select this front plane that cut basically this part in half like this and click on sketch now select circle and make a circle at this origin like this now i am specifying the diameter for this circle which is 7.5 inches okay now go to features and select your extrude boss base in one direction i am specifying the length of extrusion as 0.5 inches and now click on backside and click on sketch now select this circle and select convert entities and a circle will be created here automatically now here select center line and from this point to the origin make a straight center line and then select a line and make here a small inclined line now select three point arc from here make here a three point arc specify our three points like this and now select this midpoint and make relation tangent now we will be mirroring the sketch on the other side so select mirror entities in this window i am selecting these two entities and in this window mirror about window i am selecting this vertical straight reference line and check this box now select this midpoint and make relation tangent 
and now select smart dimensioning tool and specify the radius of this three point arc as 0 0.4 now select these two inclined lines and here specify the degree between them as 25 now the sketch is fully defined select air trim entities select this power trim and trim this outer circle but do not trim the small arc and after that exit the sketch from here now select here top plane and click on sketch and after that select here center line and from origin to this point make a straight horizontal center line and after that select here an ellipse and make here an ellipse like this now select smart dimensioning tool and from this point to this point here specify 3 inches as the length and press escape button hold control key select these three points and make relation vertical check this box now select smart dimensioning tool from this point to this point of the ellipse here specify 1 inches as distance now select center point of the ellipse and the corner and here specify 0 0.8 inches and as you can see the sketch is fully defined exit the sketch from here and now in features we have the option for the curves this curves and select your separate line in this sketch window we will be selecting this sketch the ellipse only and the, this face now select here single direction and reverse direction because we only want the separate line to be here on the top side okay and now select here right plane and click on sketch basically now we are making the guided curve for the loft command so here select th three point arc and make an arc like this now hold control key from your keyboard select this point and this point of the previous sketch and make relation pairs similarly hold control key from your keyboard select this sketch and this point of the three point arc make relation pairs this will be used as guided curve now here select normal to and we are only left with specifying the radius of this three point arc which is eight inches so here specify eight inches as the radius okay now the sketch is fully defined exit the sketch from here and now in features select a lofted boss base in this profile window right click here select selection manager and select all of these entities and check this box this is selected and after that select this sketch and as you can see these both are selected now for the guided curve i am selecting this arc that we have just created and as you can see the loft will take the shape of the guided curve and check the box now we have to specify some fillets so select here fillet and select these edges select this edge as well and here specify 0.1 inch as radius of the fillet now select here circular pattern and here specify the direction i am specifying this circular edge and in features and faces select this loft and the fillet i want it of these to be circular pattern as we are getting error so delete it from here in features and faces window uncheck this box and set, uh, check the bodies box and select the loft and as you can see now these are patterned now select this face and click on sketch and make here a circle so I am making first a reference circle at this origin select smart dimensioning tool and here specify the diameter for this circle first 
which is 3.2 inches and now press escape button first select this circle and make it as construction geometry now select a circle and on this yellow dot or quadrant of the circle make it a small circle specify the diameter as 0.75 inches now I want six of these in small circles so I will definitely circular pattern it in this first window I'm specifying this dot or the origin and here I need six so I'm specifying six and and it is to pattern this circle check this box I need to cut these holes so go to features and select extruded cut and here simply specify through all and check this box from here now select this face again and click on sketch and make here a circle at this origin now specify the diameter which is 1.5 inches now go to features select extruded cut and here cut this up to 0 0.2 and specify blind so that's how we model the wheel in solidworks if you find this video helpful then please subscribe to my channel